wondering why I went from drawing cartoons, stylish portraits to realism, landscapes and anatomy, from doing the head, sculptures, masks, portraits from different angles, drawing different expressions, drawing sculptures, then I decided to start drawing circles and squares, drawing contours and circles and squares, and going back to practicing circles and squares. Well, let me tell you a story. Welcome to my video. It is all so that I could go back to the basics of drawing, basics of fundamentals of drawing. Recently, I've been having this imposter syndrome that has, has really hindered me from drawing. And I decided that for me to overcome it, I need at least to go back to the basics so that it helps me drawing in general. Here, I decided to go back to basics. Wondering why? Well, from the past times I've drawn, I've realized that my portraits look a bit odd. I realized that it's because of the base that I'm this is because of the base that I'm actually using. The circles, walls, the triangles, the squares, the basic shapes actually skewed. So I decided to go back to basics. It was not easy really. Drawing circles and squares and ovals for this time really did not motivate me. The better me is to get the perfect, perfect circle that I could use to draw a face, a portrait, or anything that I'm drawing, especially animals. So that's why I decided to go back to drawing the basic shapes. I decided to do this for about three months. Then from then on, I'm going to continue and do the 100 health challenge. But if, before I do the 100 health challenge, at this moment right now, after doing the circles and ovals, I'm going to try the 100 health challenge. Not actually try, but finish it. I'm on footage 30. So I'm going to finish it and compare the progress. So basically get better and because I feel that imposter let me at least get the basics down and then try the hundreds health challenge and see if actually all this practice and drawing helps. I'll not just be doing the practice fundamentals only but also I'll be trying out some other things like drawing animals then I know it will be easier for me. And also I'll be practicing at least drink from day to day. At least three to four times a week. So to make this challenge interesting, I did decided to combine all the shapes that I've been doing from time to time and make it simple basic shapes or simple instruments, simple components around the house, like buses, cups, desks, tables, chairs, and then actually draw the layers, the contours, a bit more interesting. As I said, I was wondering why am I doing this, but I decided to focus on what I was doing when it's boring because I know that in the end that it will actually help me and it will be a good way to get the basics and also to improve. As I'm doing this circles and ovals, I'm telling myself, lots of squares, I'm telling myself not every circle or square has to be perfect. That now what the pantas is quantity not quality and eventually my eye 
hand and brain will coordinate and actually draw a perfect square, a perfect triangle, all of it in perspective, showing layers behind it, moving it into, into it into perspective, and all those things. Wondering why am I doing all this? Well, firstly, I've realized that the basic shapes, the circles, squares, triangles, lines, are building blocks for drawing. The first one is lines. Practicing lines, not just those short, stubby ones. Confidence strong lines. They actually give me the confidence to do portraits, sculptures, perspective. And those straight lines will give you, will give me confidence and actually how to draw different angles. Curved lines. I'll also draw contours. The next is the shapes. Every single drawing or a thing in this world can be broken down into basic shapes like circles, squares and triangles. Practicing these shapes from different angles, different perspectives, drawing the contours will actually help me understand the structure of complex objects, portraits, perspectives, landscapes, not so simple things like faces, flowers and all those things. Plus also drawing with shapes helps simplify the drawing and gives you a base on how to continue drawing for different layers. Then after doing the basic shapes, I'll start with simple forms like spheres or cubes. Then I can see how the light will interact with them. This will help me be able to shade and also having different gradients for dark to light. The darkest part or the lightest dark should not be other than the darkest light. And also it will help me in terms of proportions to see the relationship between two different drawings, two different uh, parts of a drawing, between the perspective of the eyes, of the nose, when it shifts different angles by examining reference images, also different body parts, different objects when they are found near. It will help me in the drawing the human form because the anatomy is very challenging and breaking out down the anatomy into simple shapes like cubes, or circles, ovals, trapeziums, even cubes that become long pipes will actually help me draw different types of the anatomy or different structures of the anatomy. I feel that practicing these shapes will help me in terms of composition to see which is the best arrangement of putting the elements when doing my artwork. Using different layers and see how the overall effect will have on, on my art. I believe that drawing sketches or drawing these simple shapes will help me also come up with better thumbnails on how I'm going to draw where I'm, where I'm supposed to put different objects and practice all those mistakes that I've been making and ensure that each line and each shape that I draw actually is an improvement to my drawing, to my artwork. Basically just to have more confidence I know it will be a long period and it will be monotonous but what will help me is actually watching just movies while doing these tasks, doing simple chores or just at the end of the day when I'm a bit tired. If you'd like to join me, you can join me. I'll be doing this for 30 minutes per day. Yes, and I'll see how this will help me. I'll be using, I'll be watching videos, music, shows, series as I do this. I know that patient practice or perfect practice is going to help in my drawing skills and also improve my sketching and my composition. I'd like to join me as I go back to doing my basics, go back to the basics and just adjust by mixing up the shapes and sizes to come up with different things, different objects that will help you. Again, this is my journey. Can't wait to share how my journey is going to go. And hope you stick around. 
any other challenge that you would not want to do anything else you can just comment tell me where you're watching for it from and also share like and hit the notification bell thank you for your subscription and watching my video have a good time bye see you in the next video forget to like subscribe and share your progress in the comments below thank you bye happy drawing